Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today's video is part of the Patriotic Open Challenge hosted by Teresa B. DIY and Unicorn Dust Designs. I'll tell you all about them in a minute, so let's jump in. For our first project, I'm going to use some of my leftover Valentine stuff from my stash. So I found this little heart and this love sign both came from Dollar Tree and we're going to use some navy, some red and some white acrylic paint. So first we're going to take out this love sign and we're going to set all the little bits aside and we're just going to use the wooden part. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint all of these wood letters with the white paint. Now I started off with the white acrylic paint, but I wasn't happy with how it was covering, so I switched and used my white chalk paint. So you're gonna go over and give the whole thing a coat of the white paint. Then next we're going to take this little wooden heart and give that a coat of the blue paint. And then I'm taking some painter's tape now that the white chalk paint's all dry. I started off with the middle. We're going to be putting some stripes on here so I wanted to mask off the parts that were going to stay white. So I started with the center. Now I'm putting in a spacer piece so that my stripes will be the same size. So I put down a spacer piece, then another piece of tape, another spacer, and then another piece of tape. And then remove the spacer pieces. And now we're going to fill that in with the red paint. Then once that's dry, we're going to remove the tape and you'll see it leaves us with some really nice red and white stripes. And then we're going to take that blue heart now that that's dry and I found these silver, they're kind of glittery stickers at the dollar store. So we're going to just place some of those all over the heart And then I needed to make a little stand. I want this to be a little shelf sitter. So I took two of the Jenga blocks and I gave those a quick coat of the same blue paint that we painted the heart. Now I'm gonna hot glue those two together. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and glue the blue heart down over top here. and then we're going to hot glue it to the base so that it stands up. And then our last step I took is I just used a little bit of my antique wax and went over it and just distressed the edges a little. I wanted to give it that older rustic kind of look. So I just quickly went around and distressed all the edges. And then here's the final look. I love how this one turned out. Now these are so fun for me being in Canada. I don't usually get to make American patriotic crafts. So this was a lot of fun. So now to tell you about the challenge, it's hosted by Teresa B DIY and Unicorn Dust Designs. And it is a fundraiser for Fisher House. I will have both Teresa and Sammy, who is Unicorn Dust Designs. I'll have their links in my description box as well as the link to the playlist. There are a lot of great YouTubers that are participating in this today and you'll hear a lot more about Fisher House as you go through the playlist. So I really hope you will go through and watch the videos. It is supporting a really good cause. Now for our next one, I'm 
using this red heart that I had left over from Valentine's Day. Pretty sure I picked it up at Dollar Tree. If not, it was Dollarama, my Canadian dollar store. Uh, now I'm just going to draw a line down the center of it. And then I used a piece of masking tape to keep the other half so there won't get any paint on there. We're going to paint some white stripes. So I used, this is just a popsicle stick that I was using as a guide. And I'm just using a paintbrush and my white chalk paint. Now I just freehanded these. I didn't worry about them being too perfect. And then I used the little stir stick as a spacer so I could have an equal red line in between. And then there, you'll see how I did it. I just went along and freehanded the white stripe using the little stir stick as kind of like a ruler as a guide. And then went down and painted the stripes down the whole side. Once those were dry, I removed the painter's tape and moved it over. So now it's going to protect the other side. And taking that blue paint, we're going to paint the entire side, the other side, in the blue. Now I did give this two coats to make sure all of that red was covered. I wanted it to be a nice solid blue color. Okay, and then once that was dry, I removed the painter's tape again. And I found these stickers at the dollar store. They're the silver sparkly ones. So I don't want them to be sparkly for this project. So I just cut out a few of them, leaving them on the backing. I just cut around a couple of them. And then I'm going to take my white chalk paint and I'm going to give them all a quick coat of the white chalk paint. And then once they're dry, we're going to peel them off the backing paper. Now these were still really, really sticky. If you did use stickers that weren't as sticky after you painted them, you could always attach them with hot glue or any other adhesive, but these ones were still really sticky. So I just placed them onto the heart and here's how it turned out. I think it's adorable. I love how this one turned out as well. And then for our last project, I took one of these 8x10 frames. It is kind of a metal frame. It has a rusty galvanized kind of look to it. I did find this at the Dollar Tree. So we're going to remove the backing pieces. And then you're going to take the glass out and set the frame aside. We're going to be doing a project with the glass. So we're going to take our masking tape and we're going to tape off an American flag. So again, I used one piece down for the first stripe. I used another piece as a spacer. I find this really helps with keeping your stripes the same distance apart. So you again, moved it up, used it as a spacer, made your next stripe. And then we're going to I used my little square here from Dollar Tree. I want to make the little box for the corner of the flag. So put that down and then my final couple of stripes. And then you're going to quickly just press down, make sure all of the tape is pressed down. Then we're going to take some two little plastic cups and some matte Mod Podge. Now I have done this in a previous video, so you may have seen me do this before. This kind of gives a really stained glass kind of effect, kind of a translucent effect on glass. So you use matte Mod Podge and then food coloring. So for this I'm using, because I wanted the colors darker, I'm using a gel food coloring. So you just add some in and then keep going until you get it the shade you want. So here I'm making the red. 
and then mix it up really really good you want you don't want it to so you don't want to see any of the white of the Mod Podge, otherwise when it dries it will be really streaky. You want to make sure the color is good and mixed. So I mixed up some red, and then here I'm going to mix up the blue the same way. Just add a little food coloring and stir it up. And then you can keep adding food coloring until you get the shade you want, but the most important thing is just make sure it's really, really well mixed. Now you'll see in the background there, I didn't, I lost the footage somehow, but I've placed some little star stickers up in the corner. So I placed the stickers down and now we're going to use the food coloring Mod Podge mix and just go over top of it with a sponge, little sponge brush. So you just go over and paint that square and then we're going to use the red mixture and paint the stripes. So while I'm doing that, I'd just like to take a second and say thanks for stopping by and checking out my video. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're brand new here or you've popped in along the playlist, welcome. I really hope you'll like what you see. I do a lot of Kind of farmhouse style decor, a lot of Dollar Tree decor, some thrift flips, all kinds of fun stuff. If you like what you see, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and stick around and become part of my YouTube family. So then once you're finished putting the food coloring mixture on, you're going to want to remove that tape. You don't want it to dry. Now you'll see here, I kind of made a mistake when I did the taping and there is a space between the stripes and the blue box. So once I get that tape removed, I realized what I did. So now I'm just going to retape it and then fill in those gaps. And then I did use my blow dryer just to help get it to dry so I could keep going. Now I found these little tweezers at the Dollar Tree, so I'm going to use those. I know some of you have the weeding tool from Cricut. I don't have a Cricut yet, so I tried to use these tweezers as a weeding tool to pull off those stars, but unfortunately I let that blue um, paint mixture dry so those stars are Mod Podged right onto there and I can't get them up and when I do get them up it just makes more of a hole it doesn't give you the star shape so I'm going to get out my scraper and start over I'm going to scrape off all of the blue now if you had one of those little flat razor blades that would work even better but the scraper did work so now I'm going to go through, place some star stickers on there again. And then we're going to cover it up with the blue food coloring Mod Podge mix again. But this time we're not going to let it dry and I'm going to peel off those stars right away. The mixture does dry pretty quick so I want to get those stars off really quick. And here it is all dry. You can see how you can see right through, kind of like a stained glass kind of effect. So now we're gonna put it back in the frame. And then I have it just having the little pegs holding it in. If you want it more secure, you could add some E6000 or some hot glue inside the frame to hold the glass, but I found the pegs had held it pretty well. And there you go. It's kind of a stained glass flag. And here is the final reveal of all of today's projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I hope you'll hit that thumbs up and I would love if you would subscribe and stick around. Now don't forget to check the links in the description box and check out Teresa B's channel, Sammy's channel, and of course the playlist. And as always, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one.